Hello YouTube, I'm David with the David West Channel. Today I want to show you how to make up a bow drill bow string. You can use the lowly jute twine, but it is not strong enough single ply. So let's go ahead and reverse wrap a piece of this. It'll give me the opportunity to refresh your memory on how to do the reverse wrap technique. If you can't get it from my demonstration, YouTube has a lot of demonstrations also. So we'll make a bowstring out of the jute, and then I want to get some of this kudzu that's all around the yard. We're going to try to find some thick stuff, some of the bigger kudzu vines. I'll show you how I strip the fibers out of that, and we'll make a bowstring out of that. Very difficult to work with for a bow drill bowstring because the cordage turns out slimy, and as you're using it, you, ha you have to put three wraps on the spindle. And as you're using it, the cordage keeps stretching and stretching, and many times it'll break on you, but we'll, we'll do the best we can. Let's get about six feet of this jute. This is the Walmart brand. And since we're not splicing anything with this, we'll go ahead and have both sides the same length. And I'll show you several different angles so you can sort of get a picture in your mind of what's going on. But you'll want to start off just twisting up about two inches up. Twist it, twist it until it kinks up on itself. And then you'll hold that little loop right there. And from my perspective, it's opposite on your perspective, but I'm going to get behind the camera and show you. Twist it to the right, bring that cord over to the left. Twist to the right, bring it to the left. And then you've seen people on YouTube take and roll, roll it on their thigh, like you, you think of the Indians making cordage. I do a version of that. Twist up one side, hold it with these two fingers, Put it in our short bow and try it out. All right, it's about two feet long, so it's a little bit shorter than I would have liked. And I'll put it in the slot of this bow. Wrap the cordage around my hand, but I'll need a bigger knot here to have something to hold on to. So I'll come through this loop twice instead of just a regular square knot to make a bigger knot. Wrap it around my hand. This is the handheld bowstring technique. And then wrap the spindle twice. And then I tighten this bowstring up by pushing the bow into my hip a little bit of glazing on there. I got to wear through that first. I'm starting to feel some friction now.
was a hundred strokes. Little short jute cordage made a good bowstring, didn't it? No way you could have done that with single ply. It just would not have happened. This jute is not strong enough single ply. Now I'm going to gather some of the thickest kudzu that I can find, show you how to strip those fibers out and use them. <laughs> Let's start gathering up some kudzu. Oh, I don't want anything smaller than that. Let's keep looking. There should be some good fiber in this one. This is about three eighths of an inch in diameter. You're going for these fibers just under this outer bark. The outer bark's got some pretty strong fibers in it too. This stuff here, we're after the inner bark. That should be enough. Let's see how much of this outer bark we can get off. Removing that outer bark, which leaves me with this very strong inner bark. Got more than I need. Let's go ahead and take the outer bark off of this piece.
All right. We'll take a piece of this cordage of the good even thickness and width throughout. Lay it up beside the piece that has to be extended and twist it. Twist it in there really well. Come over and then take the tail piece of that piece you just put in there and twist it in with that side. And then just continue on. It's hard to show the reverse wrap technique and especially the splicing. There are plenty of videos online though. Some of them are mine. That shows you a little bit better demonstration of how to do splicing and the reverse wrap technique. Once you start learning this technique though, you're gonna reverse wrap everything you find. Pieces of string, pieces of cable, uh, tie wraps, thick pieces of grass. You're gonna go reverse wrap crazy like I did. I might have a little bit more than three feet here, but that's all right. Let's go ahead and stretch it out. I don't need this tail end. And since we're using it for a bowstring, let's go ahead and try to get out as much stretch as possible. There will have to be moisture in your kudzu bowstring because the drier it gets, the more brittle it gets, and it'll break easily. So after we make a fire with it today, when you go to use it again, just soak it in a little bit of water. Let's burnish it now. Try to get some of that stretch out. <laughs> Talk about stretch, now we're way over four feet. Better to get it out here than having to constantly readjust the bowstring on the spindle. Let's give it a try. This part here is weak, I'm gonna cut it off. It thinned out, started to pull apart. It looks like a splice started to give away. So we still have more than three feet, so we're good to go. I'm gonna get rid of those corners right there. It's too flat. Yeah, there's a point right here, but I wanna get rid of those corners. I am not cutting off the char. I'm just making it to where it can sink down into that board easier. I don't believe in cutting the char off of your spindle tip, you know, the next time that you use it. I don't really understand why people do that. If it's not glassy, and real shiny, which indicates glazing. I never cut that char off. I'm just trying to get those corners off. All right. Let's try that. And see what we have now. One wrap, two wraps three wraps and if I have to stop and tighten up my bowstring along the way I'll be pushing it against my leg or my hip let's give it a try All right, the bowstring got very loose let me tighten up on it I ain't giving up on it. Let's tie these two together. This was that piece that we took off. That knot, usually, usually this knot will flatten out. 
will not hinder using it for a bowstring. And now I'll use a toggle to hold on to. something to hold on to and I'll only use two wraps because now I'm down to a very short cord Tighten it up on my leg. Let's see what we can do with it now. Feels good. That toggle is helping me apply pressure as the cordage stretches. Tighten it up. Looks like an amber. And this is what we ended up with. I'm starting to wonder about this one. Sure was being a problem. Well, wow. This wasn't just a lesson in cordage making, this was a lesson in perseverance too, wasn't it? Alright y'all, do me a favor, before you leave my channel, please subscribe, hit the notification bell, and in that drop down list, select all, and do give the video a like. I appreciate you joining me on this one, we'll catch you on the next one. I'll bet that's something you never would have thought would work in a bowstring, but you can tie it together. The 
knobby side of that knot goes to the outside and it just flattens out on the inside of the knot and drives the spindle right on. We'll catch you on the next one.